the more you are close to God, the more you are connected with God, life is going to flow out of you. And everyone around you is going to be impacted by what flows out of you, whether God's life or negativity. We need to all look at our lives and look at the areas in our life that are not producing fruit. And we need to then ask ourselves, am I staying connected to God's word? Because what the enemy wants to do, like an extension cord, he wants to unplug you so no power flows through you. You've got to stay connected. I said you've got to stay connected. And one of the ways you stay connected, we know, is the word. But another way you stay connected is through worship. And this is why when it comes down to worship, you can't stay there. You can't stand there and be a spectator. You have to be a participator when it comes down to worship because that's your way of staying connected. Sometimes people say, I feel so far from God. When people feel far from God, understand God's not the one who moved. We have to make the effort to stay connected. You have to make the effort by getting up, turning on the television or doing what you need to do, turning on the electronic device and staying connected with the Word of God. Whether it's listening to the Bible being read to you as you sleep, whether it's listening to the Word of God in worship or listening to the Word of God when you're in the shower, you have to make the effort to stay connected because as you are staying connected, there is life that's flowing into you. There is anointing that's flowing into you. There is grace that's flowing into you. And when that grace and anointing flows into you, it starts to produce fruit in your life. And guess what? When you've got good fruit, people want to pick it. And this is why you and I have to stay connected so that we can be directed by the Spirit of God. Can you say amen to that? God has a purpose and an assignment for your life. You should be able to look back at, after the end of this year and see how much God has caused you to be fruitful because you stayed connected when other people were disconnecting themselves. Do you understand the devil has no power to disconnect you? All he does is give you the power of suggestion, and you and I have to make choices that are going to either take us in this direction towards God's will or take us in this direction out of the plan of God for our life. The devil doesn't have power to disconnect you. He only has the power of suggestion. You and I, we must make the choice on whether we're going to stay connected or disconnected. Now, you need to know that because a lot of times people are disconnected and they want to blame it on the devil. No, all he did was presented it to you, but you made the choice. If your marriage is going to survive, if your finances are going to be turned around, if your body is going to be healed, and then you're going to have to have an intimate union with the Word of God. And it's not a Sunday thing. It's not a Wednesday thing. It's an everyday lifestyle thing. Can you say amen to this?